About 10 years ago, I exactly 10 years ago, actually, I was in a show called Hollywood Death Trip for the E! Channel. The men who produced the show saw our documentary, The Six Degrees of Helter Skelter, and hired me. We had several interviews with people to co-host it to see how, you know, the chemistry would be. I met with, I remember meeting with Charisma Carpenter. Uh, I had Bridget, I, I requested Bridget Marquardt from The Girls Next Door because she's a friend and we get along really well, but that didn't work either. Ultimately, the producers went with Danielle Harris, the scream queen or the last girl. They were celebrity deaths that terrified Tinseltown. Some were shocking, and for others, mysteries still remain. Join me, Scott Michaels, and my friend, Scream Queen, Danielle Harris, as we walk you in the terrifying footsteps of killers and their victims. We got along great, actually. Danielle and I had a great week hanging out and, and doing these stories. And this story you're going to hear today is one of the strangest that we covered. It was about a man named Johnny Lewis. This is the broadcast in its original form, including where the commercial break should be. So you'll, a little bit of repetition in there. But I really liked this show. It was supposed to be a pilot. Uh, that was what we were hoping for anyway, but E decided to go with a different show. But anyway, here's the show. Enjoy the story of Johnny Lewis. Or I shouldn't say enjoy it. It's pretty graphic. And if you're into animals, especially cats, uh, beware. You probably don't want to watch this. My name is Scott Michaels, and I'm the owner of Dearly Departed Tours in Hollywood. The guy who's doing what we now know is autoerotic asphyxiation, which is strangling yourself while you masturbate, as you do. If you want to see the creepy side of Hollywood, I'm the guy. So this is a spot where all the crazy that went down 38 years ago tonight. There is a thing of human remains. Nobody does horror better than Hollywood. So on today's tour, joining me will be one of Tinseltown's Scream Queens. My name is Danielle Harris. I'm what's known as the final girl in horror movies. I've always been really fascinated with uh, true crime, death, horrible things. Knock, knock. Hey. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Good. The place looks awesome. It's creepy cool. I like it. Well, what are we doing? What do you got? What do you got planned for me? I have assembled a tour for you, specially. Mm -hmm. So if you're set to go, I'm set to go. All right, let me grab my jacket. Take me on the tour. Let us depart. Should you leave your taser? You're gonna take that with us. <laughs> oh God! Here we go. <laughs> and so it begins. Our first story on the tour involves a guy named Johnny Lewis from Sons of Anarchy, who absolutely flipped one day. And what he did that day is unbelievable. It's fun to play the hopeless romantic, you know? It's fun to live in that world. Johnny Lewis was a talented young actor who was most famous for his role as Half Sack on Sons of Anarchy. Despite his promising talents, he was haunted by behavioral issues and granted leave from the hit show. After that, his problems only increased and he was repeatedly arrested and jailed for assault and drug charges. I wonder if over the years if I've met him, I know he used to date Katy Perry, right? Yeah, they were together for about a year and apparently it was a, a bit, well, it was an ugly breakup. We're heading up to where uh, Johnny Lewis lived. Catherine Davis had this house uh, that's been named the Writer's Villa, and it was sort of a boarding house for a lot of up-and-coming actors. Uh, Val Kilmer lived there, Parker Posey lived there, and it was a gathering place, a friendly place. These people could sort of, you know, hang out together or party together. They say that George Clooney was a fixture at the house as well, uh, well known to everyone that lived there. Just a place where people could feel comfortable going in and out. And, uh, and she was the den mother to this crowd. You will see and hear from someone who was actually there an amazing recount of what happened. This is where September 26th of 2012, it was about 10.30 in the morning, that the neighbors heard Catherine Davis screaming. Uh, and by the time the police arrived, Lewis was dead. He had uh, jumped off that railing and landed in the driveway. A shocking end for a rising actor in Los Angeles. Johnny Lewis beat his 81-year-old landlady to death, attacked two other men nearby, then fell or jumped to his own death from the roof. 
This is uh, an actual crime scene photograph, and you can see exactly where Lewis hit the ground. Johnny's body was lying face up when emergency personnel found him. His skull was crushed above his left eye. Catherine Davis was discovered in the bedroom. She was strangled and suffered blows to the head with a hammer exposing her brain. In the master bathroom, the body of her cat, Jessie, was discovered. Its head bashed in so severely that its eye popped out of the socket. Any idea where, uh, where he was the night before, what he was doing? And he was sober. I mean, there was nothing in the system. When you do an autopsy report, they're pretty thorough with toxicology. And, uh, nothing, no alcohol, no drugs, nothing. No, absolutely nothing. Nothing. I wonder if this is, may sound like a morbid question, but I wonder if the driveway's stained at all. As I understand it, they paid a grand to, to have it cleaned off. I, wow. I would have done it for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great house, though, isn't it? Well, oh, before yeah. somebody was brutally murdered here, then I would say it was a great house, right? I don't really know if, uh, if I'm getting that warm, fuzzy feeling, Scott. Actually, we, we have an interview set up with Daniel Blackburn, and he's the guy that Johnny Lewis uh, attacked before going back in and literally going off the rail over there. So uh, he's uh, going to speak to us. Let's check it out. I must have anxiety already. Yeah, I know. I just feel weird. After brutally slaying Davis and her cat, Lewis climbed these stairs and attacked her neighbor and a painter who was working on the neighbor's house. Here we go. Hello. Hello, Mr. Blackburn. Hi. Scott Michaels. Nice, nice to meet you, Danielle Scott. Danielle Harris. Danielle. How are you? Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for taking a few minutes to share sure. with us. Could you uh, walk us through what happened? Sure. The whole thing kind of starts over this way, and uh, and it moves back and forth. It's sort of a, 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 an event in motion. Take me back through it. So your wife calls for mm -hmm. you. You come I downstairs. I come down the stairs. He's beating He's up the painter. Beating up the painter. And then you I come put, out. I put my hand on his shoulder. Okay. And to pull him back. He came up on his feet and hit me before I had a chance to even react. And I picked up one of these benches. There's a reason there's only three of them. I broke the fourth one on him. He looked at me like, why are you bothering me? And I intended to kill him. Coming up, the bloody and horrific last minutes of Johnny Lewis's life. No one who was here that day believes that. I'm taking Scream Queen Danielle Harris on a tour of Hollywood deaths. We just saw the crime scene where Johnny Lewis killed his landlady and fell to his death. Now we've joined Daniel Blackburn, Johnny's neighbor, as he recounts how he narrowly escaped becoming one of Johnny's victims. Take me back through it. So your wife calls for you. You come I downstairs. I come down the stairs, and I picked up one of these benches. There's a reason there's only three of them. I broke the fourth one on him. I hit him right in the temple. It had no effect, and I intended to kill him. We ran in the house. All well, three of you, the yeah. painter and The plan neighbor. was we'd slam the door and be safe, right. and one of us would call 911. Right. Well, the plan didn't quite work. He put his arm in here, like like this, yeah, okay. to keep us from closing the door. So you slammed it on his hand, on his so arm. On it, we slammed it on his forearm. Wow. Fourth time that we slammed it on him. He did finally pull it back, but at no point did he indicate that he was in any pain of any kind. Mm -hmm. And then he took off and from here and ran really fast right to the fence, and he just flew over it. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. He okay. just, like like this, and, and lands on that fence. No kidding. You stayed in your house at still at this point, or did until you come they, out? Until I saw the cops had come out, and they asked, you know, what's going on? And I said, just because of instinct, I said, I think there's real trouble in that house. Something I think very bad has happened. And so they sent a couple of officers into the house as he had just brutalized her and, and then taken her cat and dismembered it. The coroner's report says no evidence of drugs or right. toxicity at all. Right. The police said to me when they were here that they'd gone into his apartment there and found drugs, the, the stuff for uh, bath salts and, mm -hmm. and, and happy drug. The speculation is that Johnny was using bath salts, a synthetic drug that looks similar to Epsom salts. Users have been known to experience hallucination and paranoia and exhibit intensely violent behavior. Bath salts do not show up in drug testing. It's a mystery to me that they could have reached the conclusion they did because no one who was here that day believes that. No one. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank nice you. talking to you. Lock your door. 
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> as an actor, Johnny Lewis showed a lot of promise, but as a man, he was tortured by all kinds of inner demons. A crippling addiction problem, as well as mental health issues, drove him to commit the grisly murder of an elderly woman and the macabre dismemberment of her cat. Johnny's trail of brutality ended in his own violent death. That's the first time I had ever heard of bath salts or whatever the hell they're called. Wasn't there somebody else that, like, ate the fate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The That's when I first heard of them. Yeah, else. that guy ta attacked somebody like... to chew his face off. <laughs> <laughs> I love that how you think that that's funny. Insane. So that was the Johnny Lewis segment of Hollywood Death Trip. I've previously uploaded the Brittany Murphy one, which I'll tag at the end of this. Uh, but thank you guys very much for your time and for your attention. And until next time. You heard me.